this is Bryant. Welcome back. In this video, you're going to see how we can automate the creation of a multiple users credentials in HT password file. Be sure to like my video and subscribe to my channel. So without further ado, let's get started. So what is the HT password file or HT password? HT password is used to create and update the flat files used to store username and password for page authentication of HTTP users. It is not the most secure way to store users' credentials, but it can be a good start to provide some page authentication. So what you're going to see in this video, you'll see how to create a sample bash script file to automate the creation of a user's credentials and store into HT password file. So here I already have a file, a utility file called create-user.sh. So let's see the content there. We're going to set the number, a line number, so it's easy to follow. First few lines are just common, so that's just common I made. So what this is for. Line number nine is that this indicate this is a bash file. So start with the start no, uh, number sign and the exclamation point slash bin slash bash. Line thirteen and uh, line thirteen is say is say in the counter. So we want to iterate through the number of users from one to ten, one to twenty, etc., etc. We're gonna start with the one, and this is what is indicate. This is where to start. Where to start. Line sixteen is saying that we want to print a use uh, print a message that what is the name of the file, so that's going to store in the file name. That's a variable. Line twenty one to twenty seven looks quite quite complicated, so let's go through this. It first check the file name. If it doesn't exist, we're going to say we're going to print out the message saying we're going to delete that and then remove the file. Otherwise, we'll just print out the message that. Hey, this is new file, so we don't really want to just create new. Next, we're going to ask how many users do we need to create, and then they will store into a variable called max user. And we ask for that default password. The user's password is going to be all set the same password, but we can change it later. And that's going to store into default password. So line 41 to 55 is longest, but also most important one. So let's go find out what it is. It's is using the loop from going from counter to max user. So if it's 1 to 10, it's going to go from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, etc. If it's 1 to 20, it's going to for 20 users. And then counter is at the end to increment. It's using while do loop. First thing is print out the message. The user one, this is for user one, etc. And we want to concatenate string user with the number. For example, user one, user two, etc. If a counter is equals to one, then it's gonna say this is new, we're gonna create a new file. This is what hyphen C is for. And we are using HT password for that. Otherwise, we'll just append the file uh, with the new credential at the end. And that's pretty much it. So now when you go back, we want to launch tmod command and make it executable. So it's not executable. As you can see. And we want to run the command. We want to save into users.ht password, but it can be any name. It's going to ask how many users do we need to create. So I want to say 10. So what is default password? Um, I want to say pass 1, 2, 3, 4 with the uppercase P. So now our file is created. As you can see, there are 10 users and those are encrypted credential. Let's try to run this again, but with the um, same file name but with different number of users. We're gonna say um, 30 or 20. 30, yes. And then what is default password? We're gonna say 
same password. And this created for 30 different users' credential. So there it is. That's it. That's it. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like my video and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget. And hopefully we can see you again next time. Bye bye.